Welcome to Out of My Ted. Out of My Ted? I'm out of my Ted. This is Colin. I'm out of my Zed. <laughs> out of my Ted, out of my Zed, and this is the Doomer. You know, when I think of Doomers, and I've spoken of Doomers for years now, I'm talking about this definition. This is from Wikipedia. A Doomer is someone who believes that the global problems of ecological exhaustion, such as overpopulation, climate change, and pollution, will cause the collapse of civilization and a significant human population die-off. So that's the, the Doomer of uh, the Sea Realm audience, anyway. What's this guy? That's the meme Doomer, a.k.a. depressed, emo, I hate everything. Do you identify? Somewhat. Somewhat? Okay. It is me. <laughs> See, he don't care about the environment. He just wants to sit there and be left alone. But he smokes. You vape. Yeah, it's because I'm a wuss. <laughs> don't worry. You'll smoke eventually. Oh, those things are terrible. Yeah, I know. You'll hate yourself for it, but you'll do it. Uh, no, probably not. Yeah, you will. I got real good self-control, my dude. Yeah? You're stronger than nicotine? I get my nicotine from other sources. Well, you do now. There'll come a time when there'll be cigarettes at hand and uh, no vaporizer, no vape oil, but the craving remains. He's, I, luckily, am not that addicted to that. Okay, this is off topic, but it's fine. <laughs> I'm not that addicted to nicotine. The other day I came into work, first thing I did, went outside, and I, my vape broke, and then I had to go all day without nicotine, and it phased me not at all, because I'm mm -hmm. not an addict. Okay. You're good about that? No. No? Doesn't really make a difference, does it? Is anything? It's me! <laughs> <laughs> it's me! <laughs> Alright. We're warmed up. Are we ready to start? Are we rolling? Oh, we've been rolling. Oh! I'm KMO. This is Colin. He's a Doomer. Not do, my do, you do, not, do you not remember opening the video with the Doomer definitions? <laughs> Go. You're getting old. Um, it's a meme video, and then it talks about, oh yeah, these Doomers hate themselves and everything. And then the boomers are ignorant, and that's why they're happy. And then bloomers are doomers who are like, hey, maybe I can have fun sometimes too, because why the hell not? I mean, we're all doomed, so what's there to lose, right? That's what I do. So are you a bloomer? I'm not that happy. Are you, uh, are you pointed in the direction of blooming into a bloomer? I'm not going to ever be that happy. I hate those people. Okay. It showed the bloomer with, like, a rainbows and flowers and crap, and I'm like, no, nah, I just occasionally like going to the arcade. <laughs> How about zoomers? What are zoomers? I didn't see that, so I don't oh. know. It was, I don't think it was in the video. What's a zoomer? What's a zoomer? Our, our off-camera consultant shrugged. Meme consultant doesn't know what a zoomer is either, so it's not a thing. Okay. So if you identify as a zoomer, pick something else. All right, I saw on Twitter today, it was a sponsored tweet, and it was about a young woman who was pregnant, and she looked like a teenager to me, but you know what do I know? I'm old. She might be 22. But she was pregnant, and apparently she went to apply for a job as a waitress, and she didn't get the job. And uh, the, the clickbait was, click here to learn you know, how she got her revenge on the people who wouldn't consider her for a job as a waitress. I didn't click. I didn't care. I didn't think that a, um, a business owner who has need of a particular employee who would do a particular job is really out of line to uh, select somebody who wasn't pregnant, particularly a young, out-of-wedlock person. I don't actually know that she was out of wedlock. She might have been happily married, and that might have been a planned pregnancy. But in that case, it wasn't such good planning. Why is she looking to waitress late in her pregnancy? Yeah, I don't see where young or out of wedlock really comes into this. But, you know, waiters and waitresses have to be on their feet moving back and forth for their entire shift. And pregnant, I don't know how pregnant this woman was, but she's visibly. noticeably visibly pregnant. Mm -hmm. Supposed to not be doing that. Unless you're my mom. In which case, whatever. Well... They didn't consider her for the job, and she did something to seek revenge, and it was the sort of thing, I guess it was a feel-good story. It's I bet like, she cried on the internet. I don't know. I didn't <laughs> check. That's what they always do. <gasps> Someone discriminated against me because I'm pregnant and not fit to do this job. Let me cry on the internet. I'll get my revenge. <laughs> but for some reason, it was a promoted tweet, so somebody put money behind it to get it in front of my eyes. Or Twitter decided they wanted to promote it. Or, okay, why would they do that? Because they're a bunch of lefties. 
Well, okay, you know what? If she wanted that job, she should have had a late-term abortion. Those are illegal in most states. Her Ooh. body, her choice. Do you want a waitress or do you want to be knocked up? <laughs> <laughs> then this is how stupid a lot of people sound. <laughs> and that's why I'm a doomer. So, are you a nihilist? I really don't know what that means. Are you no. a pessimist? Do you expect the worst? No. no. I try to be realistic. It's all like, hey, it's raining. Well, that kind of sucks. Probably shouldn't go outside and do stuff in the rain unless I want to get wet, but that's okay because I can always dry off. Or I can go inside and do something else. It's all... Just, just look at what you have and make a decision on what you want to do. And that's this optimist, pessimist crap is stupid. <laughs> just look at reality. So I'm like, I hate everything. Sometimes I go out and have fun. Sometimes I go out and don't have fun, but it was worth going out because then I get to go home and go to bed. Off-camera consultant, is it worth going out because you get to go home and go to bed afterwards? Totally. He spoke. You know how you really get me to go out? This is what my friends have been doing when I don't want to go out. We can get chalky milk and chicken nuggies. Chocolate milk and chicken nuggies? Chalky milk. Chalky milk. Not my drink of choice, but... Well, you're clearly not autistic then. So we're not friends. You don't know that. Every autistic likes chalky milk and chicken tendies. Chicken what? Tendies. Tendies, okay. <laughs> okay, it's a 4chan meme. We're up there with three. <laughs> there is no runway in sight. Camo's so lost. The end goal is not even on the near horizon. Lost in the mist. I'm lost now, too. What I'm saying is I, I have no, like... If we're bringing this plane in for a landing... Oh, you know how to end the video, is what you're saying. Well, that's my specialty. I make fun of you, and that's fun. Because he's old, and he's a doomer, even though he's not in his 20s, because he doesn't have his life sorted out or something. I don't know. I don't know what his issue is. He's all like, oh, climate change. Oh, economy. Oh, cybersecurity. The world's going to end. Oh. No, my fear is that the world isn't going to end that it's just gonna get worse. Oh my, suffering. See, I think, I think the people who think the world is gonna end in their lifetimes are narcissistic. That'd be awesome. Yeah, narcissistic. <laughs> Not gonna happen. <laughs> lacking in imagination and uh, overly optimistic. Unjustly optimistic. So you really think the world ending would be better than some potentially bad things happening? Depends how it ends. If it ends quickly. <laughs> yeah. So did you see Thanos, that video? Thanos, yes, I did. Okay, I am making fun of you for that. <laughs> can I say that's a little bit stupid? You can. If everyone dies, we don't have the option to fix any of our issues, and we miss out on any potential fun we could have, or self-hating. Either way. So, is potential fun in the future? Does that counterbalance the almost certain uh, unpleasantness that's going to befall all of us in one degree or another in the future? Well, we are both currently still alive and not having committed suicide, so I would assume so. True, but that's because we are, uh, we in, are under the spell of Schopenhauer's will to live, which compels us to try to push our genes into the future and uh, draw one more breath, no matter how painful it is. Not me. Not you? No, I do it because, hey, it's not going to get much worse, probably. Let's see it. Maybe we'll have some fun. See, I used to think that I wanted to live to see... Uh, future Star Wars and Star Trek movies, but now it's it's pretty clear they're all gonna suck. I, I once lived for a TV show that was a good mystery, and then it ended really badly, and then I was like, well, I have nothing to live for anymore. At least you didn't watch Game of Thrones. King Cripple. <laughs> Woo! Spoilers. <laughs> I don't know anything about it, but that sounds really... St I, I heard about the ending, and I'm like... Come on, that seems like the biggest cop-out ever. Oh, this character is king, and this one is king of this, and this one's going off to do this, and this one's going off to do this, and we're all important. Except for the two that die. But both of them deserve to die because they're both useless. I'm going to report this video because you said crippled. I can say that I'm crippled. Okay. <laughs> but I can't. Yeah, I have to report this video. No, you said crippled. You, you report the video. Yep. Okay. Reported. Hate speech. Demonetized. Take it down. Well, my whole Fish channel's you. demonetized, but anyway. Anyways. We're so, done. Hold on, wait. We gotta end oh. this video right. Okay. Which involves Camo hitting the microphone. Yep. 
So please leave some comments so I have something to talk about next week instead of bullshitting with KMO again. Um, tell me what I'm wrong about so I can learn some things. Tell me what I'm right about so I can feel good about myself. Pretty much just comment anything so I have something to read. If you watch this video, say hi Colin in the comments because it gets frustrating when I sit here and basically talk to myself because no one replies. So comments, please reply to me. I want to have a conversation with you. Until next time, this is Colin, KMO, out of my head. Later.